Alright folks, today I'm going to continue converting these fluorescent shop lights for LED tubes. All right, so here's the instruction sheet for the tubes that I had bought. Um, I did the first half of the shop a little while back, and now I'm doing the second part of the shop, the second half of the big tools lift. So you'll see here they have the original wiring of how it wires into the ballast. And to take full efficient use of the LEDs, we're gonna remove the ballast. Now, not paying so much attention to the actual colors here, but what we wanna pay attention to is the fact that the hot or live wire needs to go on one end of the tubes and then the neutral gets wired to the other end. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Step one is to remove the two screws, one on each side, so we can get inside to where the wiring is. All right, so now that we have it open, we'll see here that uh, we have the ballast. We're gonna remove that. So we're gonna snip all the wires around it, then remove the ballast itself. All right, so here's our hot wire. I'm gonna, just because it's shorter, I'm gonna wire that up to this side. The neutral wire here, we're gonna cut that and get that wired into the other side. And we're basically gonna wire up the neutral side now. I like using these types of pliers to help Get the wires turned around. Alright, now we'll do the same for the the hot side. And one thing I'll say too is you want to make sure you use the the right wire nut here for the gauge and number of wires you're gonna to tie together. Usually on the package when you buy them, there'll be a chart right on them saying how many of what gauge the wire nut can accommodate. Make sure that's in the right channel. This one is not. There's little grooves that you can see inside that are just the right size for the sheet metal. Again, don't over tighten, just so it's nice and snug. Alright, and now we are ready to hang it back up. <laughs> 